Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear. Um, if you are a knife guy like I am, then you will know that there is nothing better than a mail call. Um, today I was supposed to have two new items delivered, but only one came. The one good thing about that, if there's any kind of insurance policy about uh, not receiving a knife, it's to just have two on the way, and then you've doubled your chances that one's actually going to make it. So I assume the other one will get here tomorrow. It's just delayed. Um, but today I do have one to open up. So I figured I'd let you guys join in on the fun if you're into this kind of thing. Uh, this one was shipped UPS. Most people ship USPS. Not that I really have a preference. Just throwing that out there. This box is gigantic though. I think the guy sent it from work. Um, anywho, this knife, interestingly enough, when I sold my Paysan, um, it was a partial sale, partial trade. Uh, the guy was looking to move a couple of pieces before he had the funds, and so I asked, what are you looking to move before you will have the money? And one of the knives that he was looking to sell in order to have the money to buy the Paysan uh, was a knife that I wanted. So uh, we did part cash, part trade, and uh, I'm glad that I did. So in here, we have something that I am no stranger to, but it's a different version. So um, let's cut it open just to... I'm a knife guy, right? Um, this is my Tree Rex Shaman. And in here is the other Shaman I've been hinting at for a little while. So we're gonna go ahead and open her up. This is one of the Blade HQ exclusive Shamans in M4. Oh, that's gross. I cut that open in like a nasty, dusty way. So I'm gonna rip it open from this side, maybe. Um, anywho. M4 is a really, really cool steel. I really like M4, and so I've wanted a Shaman in the M4 configuration for quite a while. One thing I don't really like is natural G10. Um, uh, just aesthetically, I feel like it kind of, I feel like I got some of that fluff in my mouth. Anywho, um, the natural G10, the way it looks, it, it just kind of looks like glow material to me, which I don't really like. I think if I'm to really like pick apart why I don't like glow material, I grew up in a, a room where me and my brother shared a room for a lot of my life. And we had these like stars and planets that were like thin plastic glow in the dark things that we like stuck all over the ceiling and walls. Um, and they were just like really cheap plastic things. And then by the time I was like a teenager, they were still up before I finally pulled them down. And uh, I don't know, I just feel like that material looks like natural G10 to me. I don't know, maybe I'm a crazy person. I'm just not super into it. But the previous owner who had this one must have felt similarly because he dyed these scales blue. I haven't seen him in person yet, opening this as you can see right now. Um, he also added a clip to it. So this is the factory clip, which I appreciate him sending along. And uh, you'll see there's one screw in there too because with the aftermarket clip, it only takes two screws. So that's why there's one screw with that. And here we are. Oh, this is really cool. So he said he uh, dyed it like kind of a light blue. I feel like the way that it kind of took on these scales, um, it's like still pretty, I don't know, it's almost like a aqua a little bit. I don't know what I would call that. On first impressions, I like this clip. This clip sits quite a bit deeper than the Lynch clip that I have. This one's an MXG clip. Um, so let's see. Ooh. That was 100% my bad. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, this is really nice. A couple of small scuffs on the DLC and stuff, but other than that, looks to be an awesome shape. This action feels smoother than my Tree Rex does, or drop shuttier at least. This one kind of takes a little more coaxing to get down. This one feels like it's dropping a little more freely. I like that quite a bit. Um, M4 and Rex 45 are actually pretty similar steels. I was just talking the other day uh, to Gerald from Outpost 76. He does a lot of steel testing and um, he's way more intense about it than I am. Um, but he was explaining to me, I, I'm going to butcher this, so talk to him about it if you want the, the real science behind it. But essentially, um, they have really, really similar performance but um, Rex 45 has slightly more edge stability, so you can take it to a little bit of a thinner grind and still have a sturdy edge. Um, but in terms of like edge retention, um, they're, they're pretty shot for shot. So 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep both of these. Um, I kind of want to play around with them a little bit, do maybe some scale swaps. Um, you can see if you look at both of these, the pivot, um, the hardware is different from the Tree Rex to the G10 versions of this knife. This one is like a flush sitting pivot screw. This one is countersunk in and it's a rounded um, like button style screw. Um, they're the, they, they take the same T, I assume it's a T8 or a T10 uh, bits, but they're just a different screw construction and they're set into the scale differently. So I'm not sure. I may try to scale swap these, uh, but we'll see. I might just look up and see if somebody else has tried before I yank these apart. Um, but I'd be curious to see if I could get these wooden scales on the coated M4 blade. I think that would look really cool. Um, so yeah, that may happen, but I've got a set of scales on the way for this guy anyways. So I figure I may, yeah, we'll see what happens with the scales on them. Um, one thing I'm curious about as well, I really like the Tree Rex version of this, but I feel like it's kind of polarizing. So if you guys could comment down below and let me know which version you think is cooler, whether you think the M4 or the Tree Rex is the cooler version of the knife. Um, yeah, I'm just curious because I like them both. I feel like if I could only have one, I'd probably stick with the Tree Rex personally, especially after having it in hand. Um, it's funny now that I'm feeling both side by side because I haven't had this. I got this after I sold my S30V one, so I never had them together the wood scales actually feel grippier to me than the g10 scales the g10 scales are like almost polished g10 there's just hardly any grip to them um it still locks into your hand great the ergos on this knife are fantastic and they're contoured really well the jimping's excellent so it's not like a safety concern of mine but i do like that these have just a little bit more texture um which i feel like is counterintuitive you'd probably assume if you haven't held either of these that the g10 is the grippier of the two anywho this unboxing has turned into a, uh, a bit of a rambling spree, but this is my new M4 Shaman. I'm excited to have it, and uh, yeah, we'll see what becomes of it. It may just kind of end up being trade fodder, or I may sell it, um, but I was curious enough to get one in hand, and uh, I like M4, so I'm really tempted to keep it. Um, just seemed like a no-brainer to jump on it because I like the Shaman so much. It's a cool steel, uh, exclusive that I haven't had yet. Uh, this one is in awesome shape. It's centered perfectly. They're both centered exactly the same. Um, yeah, the only difference is, to me, on the surface level, really just appears to be the pivot hardware. Um, even like all of the body screws and all that are the same. They're the kind of rounded button ones like the pivot on this one. So it almost makes me wonder why this one doesn't have this style pivot, because when you look at them closely, um, that's the wrong side. This pivot matches these less than this pivot matches these. And since those body screws are all the same, you'd think they'd put that kind of button head pivot on the M4 as well. I don't know. Interesting. It's a uh, yeah, it's funny to see a difference like that. Um, not sure totally why they did that. Maybe it's just the, the nature of the material or I don't know what, but other than that, they feel identical. I feel like the Tree Rex might even be, it's probably all in my head. It feels like it's like the tiniest bit lighter, but I might be totally crazy. So there they are, two shamans. One is new, one is kind of new, <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.